all right so in this session let's understand what is meant by spice net list so as you can see on this slides uh, this net list is basically a command or textual description of your circuit so it can be generated by writing from the hand on a piece of paper you can use the text editor from the computer or any empty word document and start writing the syntax for that and the extension of this file can be .cir .net or .sp so in all spice programs not only in lt spice but other spice simulation software so you can start creating the netlist now the question is how to create the netlist so you see he, here is basically a simple circuit is a voltage source which is an ac voltage source there is a resistor r and a capacitor c so it's a simple rc circuit and we have denoted the net we have seen in the previous model how to denote or how to name the net so let's say i denote this net right from this to this net a i label it then this net i label it as b and always remember the ground net is labeled as zero so i will just draw this circuit on a piece of paper and i will start describing uh, labeling the nets as shown over here so when what i can do is that i can open a piece of paper or on the computer i can use any text editor or empty word file and start writing this description of the circuit how so i will start writing the netlist so i say that okay register r in the circuit is connected between net a and b and it has a value of 1k then i will write voltage source v you see the name of this voltage source is v is connected between net a and ground so it's connected between net a and ground it is a ac voltage source so i must define what type of voltage source it is it can be dc voltage source or ac voltage source and so on and it has a magnitude of 1 volt then i will say that capacitor c is connected between b and zero here is a label b and it is connected between b and zero and it has a value of 1 microfarad i can also uh, write a general statement or a general comment which will not be treated as a command when we'll execute the spice file so for that i will put the star in front of the sentence and then i'll say okay this is my rc circuit and after that i have to run some specific analysis to understand the behavior of the circuit so in the schematic software we have seen how we can perform the simulation for example we can perform dot op command using that we can know the dc operating points we have seen that we can run the ac analysis and we can understand the frequency behavior frequency response of the circuit so i want to understand the frequency response of it so i will run the ac analysis so for that the command is dot ac i will choose what type of sweep it is whether it is per decade that is dec or octave oct and so on or it's a linear lin so i have chosen the decade i want thousand points in my simulation and i will define the start frequency and i will define the end frequency start frequency is 1 hertz end frequency of 100 hertz i am telling the simulator to run this spice execute this spice netlist for this circuit in which i have described these syntax and to run the ac analysis starting from frequency of 1 hertz to 100 hertz take the thousand simulation points in between and then i will end the spice netlist with this command dot end so you see the simple description tells us how the components and the devices and the sources voltage source current source etc are interconnected to each other so this is how the spice netlist can be generated and uh, it can be uh, given a name and then extension of this file would be .cir.net or .sp second example here i have a dc voltage source name as v and i have a diode and a register in the so simple nets labeling i have given this 
uh, net a label called as v in i have given this label a net called v out and always ground is named as labeled as zero so how i describe this net list i will start describing the net list as below so i say that voltage source v1 is connected between nets v in and ground as you can see here and it has a value of one volt dc so remember this is the dc voltage source so i don't need to write dc specifically then register r1 is connected between zero and v out i can also write it is connected between v out and zero and it has a value of 1k then diode d1 is connected between net labeled as v in and v out and then i have to use i have to define the model for this uh, diode because this is a semiconductor device so unlike the components like registers or capacitor i have to define the model because it's a semiconductor device so what i'll do i will just use this command dot model d and d so it's basically i have to write here d1 okay so what i'll do is that i will define the model for the diode i am using so i have to use this command which is dot model d1 and the model name is d and then which analysis i want to run i want to run simply operating point analysis so i see that dot op command has been used and dot end is to end up syntax of that so we have seen that how to create the simple spice netlist from the circuit that we are interested to analyze and we'll see now how basically we can say use them and save them so what i'll do here i use some text editor such as notepad and for this circuit under consideration that is the register capacitor and the voltage source i will simply say that okay register r is connected between a and b it has a value of 1k so you see i am doing the same thing which i explained you through this power point then i have a voltage source is connected between a and ground and it is ac voltage source it has a value of one volt then i say capacitor c is connected between node b and ground which is zero it has a value of one microfarad then i say it is simple rc circuit so i will write this rc circuit i can also write this comment because it's not a command it's simply comment on top of the circuit description and then i have to understand what analysis i want to do so i write dot ac decade that is the type of sweep i want to perform i want to take thousand points to run from frequency of 1 hertz to 100 hertz and i will simply end this command right over here so what i'll do here i will just try to save this file call it as a save as and i will choose my examples so for example i am choosing the desktop folder and i created my example separate folders so you see now the file name can be let's say example one and i have given it as extension dot sp okay so for simply i say the krc circuit dot cir remember i can also give it a extension at dot cir or dot net so this is the save as type dot txt no it will save it as dot cir file and which folder i am saying saving it to my examples so rc dot cir so save it so this file has been saved so when we actually open the lt spice right over here you can see now i have created that schematic using the schematic editor so we have seen in the previous module if i am not interested in creating a net list for the circuit diagram i can simply use the schematic editor so what i have done is that i have picked up from the library the diode right here so you see i click here again i show you i go to this component i click and i write diode d i o d e and then diode comes here so i click ok i can place it on this 
component but this is a rc circuit so what i go again here and i type register so that's it register res register has come over here so i pick it right here then i click escape and the register comes there i right click i see i can define the value of the register as 1k so that's it this register comes here similarly i can again click the component library i type capacitor capacitor comes here i click ok i place it on the schematic editor dashboard then i press escape then i right click the component i see the value of capacitance can be given such as one fat microfarad in my example and then i want ac voltage source so i go to component library again i say voltage that's it and i click ok i place it on the dashboard and i press escape from the keyboard to get rid of this component then i right click this and i want to understand which voltage source i want so it is asking me to define the dc value which i don't want series resistance i don't want to define for now i click advance and here i see the ac amplitude that can be set as 1 volt phase i can choose to define but i keep it zero or i leave it blank i click ok so you see now these components have been placed and simple connection then i can click this wire button here and i press the space bar to fit the circuit schematic at the middle of the screen then i come here you see the browser the mouse is scrolling right here and i click r2 and then i go cl clicking right here i then click here stretch the mouse i'm doing it with the help of mouse and i'm connecting all the components together you see now this is how from the circuit in the left i have created now i want the ground where is the ground symbol i can see the ground symbol is here i place it here and again i take the wire to connect this together so you see the circuit in the left i have created like this so this was just to refresh your memory then i use the scissor there is a cut option here or i can press f5 from my keyboard shortcut and then i select this portion to be deleted this portion to be deleted i press escape and i press space bar on the keyboard so that the circuit can be centered in the screen now now how did i choose this analysis so i go to simulate and i use this edit simulation card and i see that all types of analysis are there so i have chosen to perform the ac sweep of this circuit diagram so you see i have taken thousand points i have chosen the decade type of sweep i am choosing the start frequency of 1 hertz and 100 hertz and i click ok i right click this command and this command is right here which has been created we have you can go back to previous module to see how we can use the schematic editor to choose the component place them on the screen choose the devices choose the voltage source current sources place them on the screen then how to make the interconnections and how to interconnect them together so you see now this right click i right click the net i have already labeled this net to be a i have already defined this name label to be net b so this is the way we have now once the circuit diagram is ready we have defined the analysis i can go to option view here in the top of the screen click and i can click the spice netlist option so when i click here you see now this spice netlist from the schematic has been automatically created so you see now it is the library where the circuit is stored then the register has been defined a b one kilo ohm it has a tolerance of one percentage and the power rating of 0.1 watt this we can define in our netlist if we want to create by hand or we can just skip it then voltage source is connected between a0 and value of ac it is a ac voltage source 
with a value of one mold so you see this netlist is similar to this netlist right over here so we see now if you want to compare the two so for example i show you my powerpoint option so and i show you the circuit schematic this is the same schematic we have created this one using the circuit software so you see now these two uh, softwares uh, you can see that to the left is a spice netlist generated by the schematic editor software program and to the right in the powerpoint we have created this netlist by ourselves using the text editor so now both way we can do that now coming back to our spice uh, netlist there is an extra command here dot back annotation it is just to uh, annotate the voltages and currents when the simulation is done and uh, rest are the things are same so we just close it and our circuit is ready and we want to run the analysis so let's see how we can do that we can go and up click this run option you can see or we can see click the simulate button and click the run so both options are there we close this circuit right here for example and then we tile the windows and these two windows are right over here so now that's it so we want to understand the ac behavior of this is simple rc circuit ac source small signal ac source of one volt has been connected and we have this output across the capacitor so let's figure it out by clicking the probing it so you see the voltage at node b we have a gain in the dark green that's starting at 0 db at the frequency of 1 kilohertz 1 hertz in the x-axis as the frequency goes on it stops at 100 hertz right bottom and the gain is decreasing to to uh, a, a negligible value about minus 1.5 decibel and on the right y axis we have the phase uh, that's spanning from 0 degree to minus 33 degrees so you can actually see that uh, what, what, this is how the phase in the light green how the phase is varying so you see this is how we actually can perform the analysis the objective here is not to explain the behavior of the rc circuit we have covered that in the previous models it is to show you how the netlist can be created by hands how they are generated how the netlist can be automatically generated from this schematic software so what about we want to generate the same plot using our handmade netlist which we have written over here is the same netlist so let's see we have remember this is the rc.cir file we have stored in our folder so let us try to open this file and run the simulation for that so what i'll do is i will just uh, minimize these windows i will click open here open and I will try to see where I have stored that file so desktop folder in my examples and I will click the right bottom all files or I can see this option netlist.cir.net.st I click here and I see if there are files over here no so what I do I click all files so you see rc.cir is ready so i choose this file i click open and this file has come over here so you see now the sentences or comments are highlighted in the green our main syntax is highlighted with the black the simulation is highlighted with the blue uh, and the spice ending has is highlighted in that end so what i do here I will just try to run this spice netlist so the point here is to tell you that if you don't want to go for schematic editor you can simply have the circuit diagram on a piece of paper you can start labeling the nets on a piece of paper and start writing the 
and creating the netlist by hand on a piece of paper. I explained that before. On the other hand, open the text editor as shown on the screen or any word empty file and you have a diagram in your piece of paper for which you want to simulate and analyze the circuit. Using For that circuit, define the label nets and start writing that netlist on a computer like in a text pad and then store it in a library where your files are there with the extension of .cir, .net or .sp and then open the simulation software click the open option as I show here and select the file and you see now the file netlist file is open next step is simply go to run option run symbol and click it here and you see the waveform window has popped up now how to probe the signal so remember in the schematic the output is here in the powerpoint you see the output is at node b right here which is across the capacitor with respect to ground so we want to analyze that output so we right click the waveform window we choose auto add trace option control a and you see available data are we can have the voltage at node a voltage at node b we can have current through the capacitor we can have current through the resistor we can have a current through the voltage source itself so currently we are interested in voltage at node b so you see expressions to add whatever i clicked it got added here i select this i click delete on the keyboard because i just want only one option so i click again vb so expressions to add is v of b that is it will plot me the voltage at node b at a function of frequency as a function of frequency i click ok and you see the same plot has been generated and the gain is starting from 0 db at 1 hertz as the frequency approaches up to 100 hertz because that's our sweep the gain drops from 0 db to about minus 1.5 db phase on the right y axis varies from 0 degree to minus 33 degree so that was all about showing you how to create and generate a spice netlist for this uh, particular circuit diagram let's have an example of another circuit diagram so you see this circuit diagram on the right top consists of dc voltage source v1 i have a diode here I have a one a resistor R1. The labels of the node, nodes are V in and V out. And spice netlist is right here, which has been described to you before. So if we understand the theoretically theoretical result of this circuit, what comes to our mind? So I have a silicon diode, for example. So you know that. Uh, let me choose something uh, to annotate here. For example, I go to slide and I see here. So let's say I have a one volt voltage source right here and there is a sil assuming that there is a silicon diode which has a cutting voltage of 0.7 volt. So the current flowing through the circuit is I, right? So I can say that uh, I can apply the KVL in the loop and know the all voltages and the current. So I have a one volt here across the diode there will be a drop of about 0.7 volt assuming it is the silicon diode and the drop voltage drop across the resistor r1 would be 1 minus 0.7 volt okay which is 0.3 volt so that should be the dc analysis result i should get so here is a spice netlist that we have already understood and let us understand how we can do that in the sim schematic simulator so i will not show you how uh, to again write this netlist in the text editor save it with the dot cir or dot net or dot sp extension i have shown you this for this circuit as an example so you can repeat this for this circuit as well so what you can do that you can repeat the analysis and understand open the netlist in the schematic editor run the simulation and the results you will get would be similar to like this so let's come back to our simulation software we close these windows and we will open the circuit 
of diode so you see now i have used the another approach that is using the schematic ed editor i picked collected the components and the devices and the sources from the library i placed them right here and the circuit is ready and if i go to view i click the spice netlist i see that is the same netlist i have showed you through the powerpoint right here can you see that is the same netlist look at the left side the netlist generated by the schematic editor and the right side is this netlist we created by hands using the text editor so it's basically you have both approaches and both options so v1 is connected between v in and 0 to 1 uh, v in and 0 and it has a value of 1 volt register r1 is connected between 0 and v out it is a value of 1k and so on so extra things are there that because we picked up the components from the library so library has been defined here uh, by the software itself and then there is additional command of back nano because when we perform the dc operating point analysis it can print uh, the voltages on the screen okay so we close it and if you want to run the analysis so remember you can open the uh, netlist here instead of running this circuit you can open the save netlist and run the analysis but for now let us understand what is the results i click run and here are the result of operating point as explained to you in the previous model gives us all the voltages and the currents for your circuit so here i see that the voltage of one volt the no, uh, the voltage at node the voltage at node v in is one volt which is the voltage of voltage source v1 voltage at node v out would be 0 0.37 so tell me the cutting voltage of the diode it would be 1 minus this output voltage which is 0 0.37 so it's about 6.33 was dropped across the diode so always remember when you do the circuit diagram circuit design using any software you need to know what is the theoretical results before you got to have a piece of paper uh, with you and you first with hand calculations get your results ready at least basic analysis you do it on the piece of paper then go for drawing the schematic using the software and running the simulations using the software otherwise if you don't know the theoretical results at least basic results or basic expectation what the circuit will show you then you should not you would be having difficulty to understand the spice results okay and the current through a diode and the current through a resistor would be same which is about uh, uh, 0.37 milliampere and the current through the um, uh, voltage source is also the same because the same current flows through the circuit right so that's all for this uh, session we have seen how to uh, create the netlist how to generate it their extensions how to save them how to open it how to run them and another option use the schematic editor use the library pick up the components place them on the screen connect them together and run the simulation before running the simulation generate the automatic netlist from the schematic software so that's all